What's up, man? It's your boy 16. If y'all rocking out with the channel, I want to ask y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know who y'all want to see next. The name I see the most in the comment section, that's who I'm going to reach out to and try to get on my channel. If you really want to support, check out the links in my description. You can follow me on all my social media at 16 Shot on Visuals with a Z. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to the video y'all came to see. So, you know, what type of kid was you growing up? Oh, shit. I was like the regular kid out there, you know? Just trying to make a way out. Just, just really trying to survive throughout the city. Just focus on me. Trying to get my family out. So you weren't really you no know, troublemaker looking for trouble, you just was... No, nah, I was never looking for trouble, but shit, if it came my way, motherfuckers knew what was going to happen, but, you know, yeah, I was really on whatever my homies was on. Oh, uh, yeah. So, you know, who you listen to in Chicago as far as on the music side? Shit. I listen to Chesna Driller, Rio Chini, uh, Polo G. Uh, I like Lil Zay Osama, Lil Durk. Shit, I really like all the motherfuckers in the city. Really? Nah, I ain't gonna say everybody, but some of they ass weak. <laughs> even for me, when we just started, I'm a little bit better than they ass. But shit, <laughs> that's what I really fuck with them the most. I listen to daily. So, yeah. so uh, do you got any influences and shit, like, on the music side, growing up, that you probably listen to? Shit, Herb, Herb always been rapping. Herb and Biggie. Shit, it's a lot of motherfuckers from the block that always been rapping around me. Nah, I just be watching. Shit, that shit used to be raw to me. I just never thought I could do it myself until I actually tried. So. Yeah. So when Herb was first coming up, like you was around to see that, like the, you know, him transition to Hell what yeah. he is now. Hell yeah, I was around that shit. It's a, just seeing where he came from and seeing what he is now, that shit like motivate me to be better. Shit. Even when I was hooping, shit, that shit was like damn. If he can make that make it with rapping, I can make it with hooping. Yeah. Shit, now I feel like I can make it with rapping. I'm gonna be a goat, you know what I'm saying? Cause when you see somebody you know that come from where you come from, it kind of make you believe it. Like I, right, I could do this. Cause I seen this nigga do this shit. Hell like, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a few videos in my crib, all type of shit. Like <laughs> that shit motivated me all the time, like, all the time. Yeah, cause there's a lot of shit that I ain't really even think. Like, I know it's possible, but I don't be thinking like it's an option for me until I see a motherfucker I know came from where I can't do it. I'm like, oh yeah, if he did this shit, you know, I know I could do that shit. Hell yeah, that's why everybody I'm around, they ass always end up being some stars. Like, I don't know, so I'm like, damn, maybe I should try that shit. That shit, everybody doing that shit, everybody getting real deals off that shit. So I'm like, fuck it, I might as well do that shit too. Yeah, you know what they say, surround yourself around, you know, what you want to be. Yeah. Yeah you end up being the next. So what all uh, artists you rock with throughout the city, like probably like just on a personal level? Personal level? Yeah. I know I keep repeating that shit, but. Oh, uh, same motherfucker uh, list. Yeah, <laughs> I fuck with the same motherfucker. Like, I fuck with Rio, Cheney, I fuck with Chestnut Driller Art, them niggas I talk to daily, like I talk to Polo daily. Yeah. I fuck with him daily, even though he don't rap, He's like my, my regular motherfucker, I just talk to daily. So it'd be easy for us to like make music together. Or like I'd be comfortable around him. Even even though I just start. Oh uh, yeah. So what's your plans in the future for music? Like uh you got any uh mixtape shit like that on the way? Shit, yeah, I just I write a lot of music, so I try to all the songs I recorded, I probably get up with my homies and like pick pick which one is the best and just probably turn it into a mixtape. But I ain't got no set they don't like no mixtape and I like that. I'm just dropping singles. Shit, I think singles is what's hot right now, so I think the singles are too long. You know what I'm saying? That's why I see everybody else doing so I was like, fuck it. I'm kinda taking them to their footsteps a little bit. Yeah. So what's the recording process like? Like when you're in the studio, do you write, you freestyle or how you how you come? It depends. You gotta catch me on some pre show or something, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't do that. I'll just freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Now you catch me on some liquor or something, I'll probably be able to freestyle some songs. But other than that, I'll be writing my shit like, sometime. Or it don't take me long to write a song, though. It'll probably take like 45 minutes to write a song. Or if that. Or a feature, it'll be taking like 10, 15 minutes. So I'll be kind of, I'm getting better with the shit over, over time. So it's kind of easy. Yeah. So you got any features we should be looking out for? 
that people probably uh, know, know the artist who on the song? Yeah, I got a feature with Rio Chini. I just dropped the song. Me and Vibe about to drop a mixtape together. I just forgot about that. Uh, I got a feature with Chestnut Driller. I'm trying to get features with other motherfuckers. Other people been hitting me up, but a lot of people I turned down. I ain't gonna say their name, but a lot of people I turned down. I think they trying to use me, you know what I'm saying? So I'm a little hot right now. You know what I'm saying? They ain't hating me, but you know, I ain't gonna speak on that shit. But yeah, those are really the only two right now. Oh yeah, I got a feature with uh, my, home, my homie from the block, his name Lil Forty. Yeah, I got that one. Oh yeah, uh, I was supposed to be doing an interview with him too. Yeah, well, that's my boy. So is there anything about you that would surprise people if they found out? Like any type of secret, secret talent, or just anything, some shit you might like? Shit. Not really, shit. Really, everybody that know me know me for hooping. Yeah, shit. But now I'm trying to rap, so whatever works, that's what I'm going to tell the guys. Now y'all watching this interview, whatever works, whatever feed my family, that's what I'm going to do. Facts. And fuck y'all. <laughs> so how you feel about the state of Chicago music right now? Uh, right now I feel like the music's gonna get back into, it's gonna get hot outside, so that shit's gonna get real, shit's gonna get real critical, like you got all them exposing me's, the 51 Day Ops songs, all that shit, it's gonna get ugly out here, I'm finna move, <laughs> I ain't got time for that shit, I'm trying to, you know, rap about other shit. You know, longevity is what I'm worried about right now. I ain't trying to focus on that, really. Yeah, yeah from listening to your music, it don't really seem like you really be talking about a lot of the bullshit, shit like that. Yeah. So, with you coming, like, with that type of vibe, do people still come at you crazy sometimes just from your affiliation? Yeah, people still be talking outside of the neck sometimes, but shit. It is what it is. Get up with me. You know what I'm saying? I just be chilling, though. That shit getting old, motherfuckers trying to make some money. That shit gonna play it out. Uh, yeah, so is there any uh, rapper dead or alive who you, who you would want to do a feature with? Uh, you said dead or alive? Yeah. Like you just alive? It's a lot of motherfuckers that want to do a feature with alive. It's big motherfuckers. I love Young Thug now, all that shit, Meek Mill. Y'all see this, I want to feature with y'all one day. Shit, dead. But nah, I don't really want nobody dead. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't really listen to a lot of people like that. I really just got on to the music shit, so if they did, most likely I probably didn't really was like not probably on it like that. Yeah. So you know, if you uh, wasn't rapping, what would you be doing? We didn't already know the answer, but yeah. one of the fans want me to ask you that shit anyway. Man, I still be hooping. Why well, I'm still hooping? One of these motherfuckers gonna work. Mark my words. Most people know, so we just keep going off for all. So you know what? Uh, what got you into hooping like that? Like, was you doing that all your life, or? Yeah, I've been hooping all my life. I think, I think that's what most motherfuckers do. If you ain't rapping, you hooping, or you playing some type of sport. So I was always good at basketball, so that shit was just naturally. I got better over time. Shit. I seen how that shit was, where it could take me. I just keep doing the shit. You know what I'm saying? make people happy. But I just feel like I'm trying to make myself happy right now. That's what's up. So uh, I know I asked you about Herbert Shaw already and uh, y'all relationship, but I ain't never asked, like, could we expect y'all to uh, do some music together too? Oh yeah, I'm trying to link up with him this weekend in LA. So yeah. I'm trying to see what's to that shit right now. Uh, I mean, I know without a doubt he's gonna give me one. Shit, I ain't really rushing that shit. I'm trying to really. I don't really want that many features with nobody, actually. But if I get one with him, I know motherfuckers gonna fuck with it. Yeah, it's gonna be decent. Yeah, that's, that'll be a decent ass feature, though. Everybody fuck with that nigga yeah. music. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, uh, before we close out, is there anything you wanna uh, say? Any messages you wanna put out? Shout outs? Anything you wanna let motherfuckers know? Uh, shit. Shout out 16 Shot Visuals. For Love, fucking with me. Shout out my bro. Yeah. Shout out everybody that fuck with me, really. Everybody we fuck with, shout out for y'all. All right, but how do people find you on social media? Oh, uh, no lemon underscore Lil G Slim. Shit, that's all, that's all I really be on Instagram right now. I got a little clout on that, so I try to keep it moving. All right, 
like that. What about your uh, man's right here? Yeah, my Facebook, Antoine Allen. My uh, IG, Eric and together. E-R-I-C-K and then Antoine Allen. All right, back. Keep doing your thing. You're going crazy out here. Alright, so look, the reason I started this YouTube channel was to reach out to big artists in my area that got somewhat of a name, a following, a fan base, you know, just people paying attention to them. That way I could build up my platform and I could reach out to smaller artists who I feel like got potential, you know, could make it somewhere if they just have the right people looking at them or the right person helping them, somebody paying attention to them. Because there's a lot of artists that got talent, but nobody paying attention, so the talent go unnoticed. So what I'm doing basically is looking out for them, giving back. Just the same way these artists looking out for me, because I started just without no name. Didn't nobody know who I was. They just agreed to do this off the strength, you know, for free, not charging me nothing. So, for the artists that's looking out for me, I feel like it's only right that I give back to the other people. Because I used to rap. I used to be a rap artist. And I had talent, but wasn't nobody paying attention. So, I'm trying to create a platform to put everybody on who I feel like deserves that shot. So, if you want to support the movement, you can do it multiple ways. You can do it by either pointing me in the direction of somebody that you feel like got potential. And it should be on this platform, send a donation, purchase some clothes, like, subscribe, and share my videos, putting somebody else onto the videos, it's the simple things. All the comments, I read all that, so whatever you, however you choose to support, it's all appreciated. But don't forget to like and subscribe, thank you for tuning in, if you want to follow me on my social media, it's 16 shot on visuals on Instagram, email booking raheem16 at gmail.com, that's the best way to get up with me.